Hello CPS students and teachers, welcome to the STEM department's first engineering design challenge of 2022. Um, you may have already discussed with your teachers or amongst yourselves um, what this challenge is about a little bit, uh, about bridges specifically. You may have talked about uh, how they're built, who builds them, what their purpose is. But today, uh, the challenge is going to be for you to design the strongest paper bridge that you can possibly design. So that means that you today are going to be the engineers, you're going to be the architects, the city planners, the project managers, the construction workers, the budget analysts, all those things. When you work with your partner, the goal is to create the strongest bridge out of a single piece of paper. So here's a challenge. Uh, your teacher may give you some regular sheets of paper or maybe some construction paper. Either one works, it's up to you. I'm gonna show it on construction paper just because I think it's a little bit easier for you to see in the video. You also need, um, I'm using just two blocks of wood, but you can use textbooks, anything that raises uh, the bridge up off of the table. Um, so I'm going to place them apart like this. You're going to need uh, a ruler, or you can also use the paper as a measurement tool. And you're gonna need some coins or any other kind of standard of measurement for weight. So I'm using coins here, but I have used in the past, I've used little blocks and cubes, um, anything that you have. I've used erasers at school, anything that is the same and you can, uh, and light. So you can add on and you have a lot of them, okay? Um, so you're gonna get two sheets of paper. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna pretend like the blue one is a river. So I'm gonna lay this one down on the table surface here. And this is the most important part. Your blocks or textbooks, whatever you're gonna use as a spacer, they need to sit apart right across the width of the paper on its narrow side. So this construction paper is about nine inches wide. You can also use a ruler. I think it's a little bit easier just to use the paper as a measurement tool and you leave it there. That way you know you're always right. You don't wanna do this and you also don't wanna do this and you wanna make sure they're parallel. So something like that. And then you take your bridge, you're gonna get a sheet of paper and you're gonna lay it across. Now the first thing you notice is it already begins to sag. It is not very strong as it is. So if I take a single coin and I place it on top of the bridge, it already drops. Your challenge is to make this bridge out of this single sheet of paper stronger. Now I'm gonna give you a quick hint here. You can do whatever you want with this sheet of paper. However, you can't add anything else. You can't use anything else. Only this sheet of paper can represent your bridge. If I take this sheet of paper and I fold it in half, I have now doubled the layers. If I place it on there, and now I add a coin on top, now it holds a coin. And as a matter of fact, it probably holds more coins. And it's three, four, oh, four. Okay, well, I tripled already the amount of weight that that bridge can hold just by doing one fold, right? So you're gonna work with your partner. You're gonna try and figure out what is the strongest bridge that you can create with that single piece of paper. Um, your teacher may decide to do different rounds. What I wanna encourage is, um, I don't want you to feel that if you mess up this paper, you can't get another try. You absolutely should. This is what the design and engineering process is all about, right? You, you try something, if it doesn't work, you go back to the drawing board, you think about it again, and you try it again. This is how the real world works as well. So perhaps your teacher will give you two or three attempts with a new sheet of paper if your sheet of paper gets kind of messed up and you would like to try again, okay? Um, so they'll place the, uh, they'll give you the rules on that. Uh, with that said, there are cer certain rules that you do need to follow in order to make sure that this challenge goes um, the way that it should. So here they are. Rule number one. The only material you can use for your bridge is the paper that your uh, teacher gives you, that single sheet of paper. Now, as I explained, they may give you multiple tries, so you can go through that design process, but you may only use this. That means you cannot use any tape, any glue, any kind of adhesive, anything to stiffen it up. You can't put a ruler in the middle, none of that stuff. Only the paper. Rule number two, the distance of the river always has to be the same for everyone. So as you can imagine, if there was a bridge like this, that might be a little bit easier and be able to hold more weight than a bridge that's out here. So in order for it to be fair, make sure that when you place your textbooks or blocks or whatever you're using, 
you are placing them the same width of the paper or using the ruler to make sure you measure the same width given by your teacher, okay? Rule number three, you may not place anything underneath the bridge to help support it. I know, I've had students who do that before. And this is the most clever one I've seen students do. You may not place any weights on the edge of the bridge to hold it. That's actually a very clever design, but for this design challenge, we're eliminating that. You don't wanna, you are not allowed to put any weights on the edge, only on the part that's right above the river, if that makes sense, okay? Those are the rules. Um, good luck, everyone. Let's get started. I'm gonna pose a additional challenge for you. Um, when I built my bridge, I used regular printer paper, a white sheet of paper. Um, and after manipulating the paper, I was able to create a bridge that held 216 pennies. That's actually as many pennies as are in this jar right here, which is pretty heavy and pretty strong considering it's only made from one sheet of paper. That's the power of engineering and design. Um, so first of all, let's see if you can beat your classmates and let's see if you can uh, beat the weight of my bridge. Uh, 216 pennies, just so you know, is about 21 and 4 tenths uh, ounces, which is just over a pound. So if you're using a different method of measurement and you have a scale, you can also compare it that way. All right. Um, have your teacher uh, submit some of the photos of your bridge designs and uh, we will be selecting uh, some best designs and winners and sending out some Department of STEM uh, swag that you can wear. All right. Good luck, everybody.